Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and I wanted to give you a quick tutorial video and show you something that is a really common issue that people have with lithium batteries. Whether you have your lithium batteries out of the battery box or in a battery box like this one over here which is detachable, um, if you try to turn your scooter on and it's not powering on and you feel like there might be something wrong with your batteries you want to try this first so this tutorial we're going to show you a set of batteries that have gone into protection mode now before i go any further like always i just want to mention if you want a copy of our free product catalog just go to our website mobilitydirect.com click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog fill out the simple short form and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our monthly giveaway. We give away a free mobility scooter once a month to a random subscriber of our YouTube channel. And all you have to do is just subscribe. You're already here. So just hit that subscribe button. It's free. Let's get started. So here we have a set of 12 volt lithium batteries by dakota which we're really well known for distributing as one of the exclusive resellers of lithium batteries by dakota for mobility scooters you can take out the original batteries that come in your gogo -Go scooter box or any of your mobility scooters that run on two 12 volt batteries you can upgrade them you're going to get a ton of additional travel range you can almost double the travel range or the distance that you can get on a full charge by upgrading to these lithium batteries instead of using the traditional sealed lead acid batteries that come with it. However, these batteries, you can call them smart batteries because they have a chip in them known as a battery management system. And that is going to protect the battery from damaging itself if the user forgets to charge it and the voltage goes too low. Now a fully charged battery, even though it's a 12 volt battery, a fully charged 12 volt battery is gonna read about 14.2 volts with your voltage meter, which I have here. So with my voltage meter, if you were to test out a fully charged battery, you should get just over 14 volts. Now, when it's low, it's gonna be closer to about 12 and a half volts. That's, that's almost pretty much completely dead. If it goes any lower than that and it starts getting close to like 10 or 10 and a half volts, the chip's going to kick in to protect the battery. All right, so if you've got a set of batteries and they're just not working, you're not getting power to your scooter, get yourself a voltage meter, test it out on the 20 volt scale and run your negative and your red probe to the battery. Now I've got a reading of 1.54, which is basically telling me that the voltage has dropped down so low that the battery management system has kicked in. And the solution for this is pretty easy. You have to use the original charger that came with your Dakota lithium batteries. You should have gotten a pair of these or you can order them and you'll just go ahead and plug it in and let it charge for several hours. And eventually, you're gonna get back to a normal voltage. So the, the red light indicator means it's charging. When it turns green, it's gonna be ready to go again. And that's how you wake the batteries up. Essentially, when they go into protection mode, they're turned off, there's no voltage to the terminals. So you will get either a zero reading or like a really low reading. So try that out first. It might solve your problem. I hope this video has been helpful. For more awesome tips and tutorials, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to mobilitydirect.com to purchase any type of batteries for mobility scooters. We also sell the mobility scooters and we have some of the industry's best content online. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and hit the subscribe button. You can also enable notifications. That way you get notified whenever we release new videos just like this one. Our YouTube channel is organized into convenient playlists ranging from repair videos, review videos, unboxing videos, and we're constantly making epic videos. So make sure you go on over to our YouTube channel, check out our videos, leave a comment if you have any questions. We reply to all of our comments. We would also appreciate it if you like the video. And by the way, don't forget, you can claim a copy of our free catalog. Just go to our website and then click on the green button at the top of every page. 
Just fill out that short form. You'll get one in the mail within two weeks. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.